Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of H.R. 218, the King Cove, King Cove Land Exchange Act. I'd like to thank Congressman Don Young for his tireless work on this pressing issue. 19 people. The cost of decades of inaction by the federal government, Mr. Speaker, is 19 American lives. Expedient access to a hospital is something most Americans can fortunately take for granted. For many emergency services are an ambulance right away, not for the citizens of King Cove, Alaska. Adjacent to the Aleutian Islands, the 1,000 residents of King Cove, Alaska are connected to hospitals in the region via a small runway and a ferry. Harsh winter storms, ground planes, and prevent safe sea travel, cutting off residents from hospitals and necessary supplies. In truly dire emergencies, King Cove residents have but two choices. Number one is to pray a boat captain will brave enormous seas or wait until the Coast Guard can dispatch a medevac helicopter. Mr. Speaker, allow me to read some of the stories of those who have braved the sea or held out until help arrived. Take, for example, Lonnie Brandle, who had to hoist his ailing father out of a fishing boat during a blizzard. After a perilous three-hour journey to Cold Bay, the sea was so rough his boat could not dock. Brandle had to tie a rope around his father and allow him to be pulled to safety. To quote Brandle, it was not a good scenario at all, but if we had stayed here one more day, even 10 or 12 more hours, he would not have lived. Or take Etta Kazakin, who went into labor early. Unable to safely leave King Cove during a storm, it took the Coast Guard eight hours to arrive to rescue her. I was lucky, she says. The Coast Guard was in the area. That is really what it was. They were in the area. Mr. Speaker, this is shameful. Our citizens should not have to wait hours for a medevac or brave treacherous seas while we sit here and debate this issue. No American should have to perish while we argue whether or not a refuge would be better off with 80 or 81 or 70 miles of gravel roads. I urge my colleagues to listen to the stories of Edda Kazakin, Lonnie Brandle, and others. I urge my colleagues to think about the 19 Americans who perished for want of a gravel road. Mr. Speaker, I strongly support H.R. 218, and I yield back. Gentleman yields. Gentleman from Arizona is recognized.